So before we get any deeper into notation or invariance for knots, we're going to pause here and go back to a concept about knots that is going to be useful for us as a theme throughout the rest of the course. And that is, what is the essence of knots? What kinds of knots are the simplest kinds of knots possible that form the building blocks of all other knots that we could tabulate? Uh, and these knots are called the prime knots. So we're just going to get a quick introduction to what it means for a knot to be prime and a knot to be composite. So much like with numbers, where the concept of a prime number is a number that we can't break apart into multiplicative pieces unless one of those pieces is the multiplicative unit, the number one, right? Um, prime knots are going to be knots which we can't decompose in any way that's meaningful without one of those pieces that we decompose it into being trivial. And for us, trivial means the unknot, right? The knot which is not knotted. So a prime knot is going to be a knot which we cannot express as the combination of two knots unless one or the other of those knots is the unknot. And that's great, except what's going to play the role of that combination? For numbers, that combination is thought of as multiplication. For knots, that combination operation is called the connected sum. So the definition of the connected sum of two knots, k1 and k2, is that we notate it with a little, I guess we call it a hashtag these days, k1 hashtag k2 is the connected sum. Um, and we'll form the connected sum by taking the two knots, so maybe these are my two knots, k1 and k2, and then we'll just snip out a little arc from each one of these knots. So maybe I'll cut out a little piece of the knot k1 right here, cut out a little piece of k2 right there, and then just connect up those cut ends with these uncrossed, just standard uncrossed, unknotted, unlooped arcs. And when I cut, join those cut ends together, I get the connected sum of these two knots. So this seems like the most reasonable way to connect two knots together to form a new knot. This is also a specific example of the connected sum construction, which is a wider construction in all of geometry and topology. Anytime you see connected sum, it really means this up to some modification. For example, if I'm connecting two surfaces, I would take out a little disk from each surface and join those two up with a tube. Um, but for the case of knots, which are fundamentally kind of one-dimensional, uh, we're just going to cut them out and connect them with one-dimensional unknotted, uncrossed arcs. So that gives us the connection piece, and so now we know how to define what it means for a knot to be composite or a knot to be prime. A knot is composite if there are non-trivial knots k1 and k2, so not the unknot, such that k is the connected sum of k1 and k2. So composite means that we can sort of pull apart the knot and identify two non-trivial subknots of which that larger knot is the connected sum. A knot that we can't do that to will be called a prime knot. So not as prime if it's not composite. So this construction of connected sum is very much like the construction of adding two rational tangles together, right? Where we take the two knots, we situate them side by side, and then we join them up uh, at these cut ends. And prime knots are knots for which there is no way to do that unless one of those two knots was trivial to begin with. So the knot that we have up here in the top of the slide, this is clearly a composite knot, just by definition, by the way that we created it. If we believed that the original purple knot K1 and the original green knot K2 were each non-trivial, then the knot that we got up here must have been composite. So that's easy to see, because that's how we built this knot. It would be just like coming up to me and saying, hey, is the number 2 times 7 a prime number? I can laugh at you and say, of course it's not, because you just told me that it's built out of 2 times 7, and neither one of those are trivial. So, of course, it's a harder question, a much harder question. For a given knot, somebody hands me a knot without any explanation, which happens to me all the time, and asks me whether or not that knot is a prime knot or a composite knot. So, as an example, here's a knot that has six crossings in it. Um, is this knot a prime knot, or is this knot a composite knot? So, it's got six crossings. And if we look back at an atlas of, of knots, such as the one at the back of our textbook, um, there's you know a handful of different six-crossing knots that are prime. So maybe this is one of them, right? The other thing that we notice about the projection of this knot is that it's an alternating projection. So that all seems like it's good stuff, right? These are the kinds of knots that you see in tables of knots at the back of books, alternating knots that have a certain number of crossings and which are prime. So is this one of them? And it turns out the answer to that is no, because if we take these two red spots right here, this spot on this strand, this spot on this strand, if we were to pinch those two together, in other words, kind of 
pull apart those two parts of the knot and then squeeze that top strand towards that bottom strand. Now we're kind of buttering ourselves up to see this as a connected sum of two knots. All we would have to do is sort of cut this part where we pinch it and form two separate knots. And when I do that, I get two separate knots, each of which is a non-trivial knot. In fact, they turn out to be the same knot in both cases, the three-crossing trefoil knot, three sub one. So this knot here, it turns out, was not prime because we found a way of pulling it apart into two pieces, and each of those pieces was the non-trivial trefoil knot. So in this example, it was fairly easy just to do that and see that it works. Um, but for a generic example, you might expect that it's not always so obvious that if I, that there, that there would be some way of pulling apart a knot into two non-trivial pieces of which the original knot is the connected sum.